This is not Photoshop. This is not an AI generated image. This is our new Haas Control. Well, it's the same simple, powerful Haas Control that we all know and love, but upgraded to take advantage of our 19 inch touchscreen. I am here on our editor page, just surrounded by cool new features. Let's go ahead and start with a quick create. Now from the editor, we can press F1, go to edit, and then down to quick create, select that to kick things off. But this is a touch screen, so we're just gonna press the quick create button. We are now being offered help with either M or G codes. I could use some help with a, a G code for drilling operations. So I'm gonna go ahead and select G codes. I will search for drilling, drill, make a selection for the operation I want. We can then fill in the blanks for the variable information that we need. I'm gonna go 20 inches a minute. We will go ahead and give ourselves a QPEC of 0.5. Z depth minus 1.5. When I press enter, it's gonna drop that code, that G83 line, right into our, our program, ready to go. That was G code help with Quick Create. We can do the same thing with M codes. M codes, uh, I'm gonna be running this drill with through spindle air, and I don't remember what the code is for that. So I'm gonna press air, and search, and it gives me a list of all of the M codes associated with air. Tool air blast on, that's what I want right there. I'll click on that, and it drops it right into my program. It's ready to go. So I used to have to reach for a manual, look up all the G codes, find the one that I wanted, then look up that G code, see which variables are even available for that code. But with quick create and the search function, it's just way too easy to do all of that without the manual right from the editor. New options have been added for how we view our code as well. Choosing magnify makes the line of code being edited jump off the page. Selecting magnify and highlight will add some eye-catching color as well to really help us focus in on a particular code. Returning to our view drop-down menu, we can now select Haas colors for another way to quickly distinguish between different types of codes in both the editor and our program memory window. Now these color schemes will continue to get refined over the next few software releases. These new view modes help us see our code better, but sometimes we just wanna see more of our code all at once. And that's where these next few enhancements really excite me. We can go to the view menu and select hide clipboard and we gain more real estate on our screen to see more of our program all at once. And if that excites you, this next feature is gonna blow your mind. Right here in the bottom right corner of our screen is a new icon. It's our resize tab icon. If we click on that, we'll have a list of display options. Right now I'm gonna press height tab display and just like that, look at that. Our program has expanded and filled the entire screen top to bottom. Now this is great, but it gets even better. We can apply this resize feature to other pages on the control, like our offset page. Height tab display gives us extra height. Width tab display gives us extra width. And if we are feeling greedy, we can take up the whole monitor by selecting our full screen tab display. This same resize tab feature can be used on other panels like our settings page or even our ATM page. And if you like the resize icon, you are gonna love its neighbor. This one is my favorite. Literally, this is the favorites icon. Check this out. If we use setting 42 M0 after M6, uh, as we set up all the time, we can just go to that setting. And while there, we can press the favorites icon. And just like that, we add it to our favorites panel, naming it whatever we'd like. And now when we press this button, 
it doesn't just bring us to the settings page, it brings the setting to us. We can turn it on and off, use it whenever we want. It's in our favorites menu. We can add a button for our gauges page, a button for Haas drop, so we can quickly add media from our phones, our milling calculator. We can add a button for M19 to orient our spindle before loading tools. But our favorites page, our little panel is full. What do we do now? Well, if we swipe up on our favorites, it expands it. We can see all of our favorite things in one spot. This is pretty powerful stuff. A full menu for favorites. And some of our keen-eyed viewers might have noticed that there's another expansion bar on this main screen. One for favorites and one along the right edge of our screen. If we swipe left on that expansion bar, it's gonna take us to our brand new Quick M Codes page. Now this is incredible for a few reasons. We can control any of these machine options with the press of a button. But this page is also telling us exactly what M code options this particular machine has installed. The point is that if your machine has an option, it is likely displayed here along with the M code that turns it on and off. Now, on this machine, the work holding clamp M7071 are grayed out because we don't have that option on this machine. If we had a UMC machine, we could press those buttons to clamp and unclamp the fixtures. If we had an ST lathe with a tool probe arm, we could press the M104 probe arm extend button to bring the arm down, or this button, the M105, to bring that arm back up. This panel is gonna match perfectly with whatever options are on your particular machine. I am thinking about our favorites box again, and I just wanna mention that there are some pages on the control that we do not want a favorite button for. There just isn't a need, uh, not on this touchscreen control. If I wanted to make changes to our timer and counter, all I have to do is press on it, and it brings us to the timers and counters page where we can change all of that associated information. If I wanted to go to the active codes page, I don't need a, a favorite button. I just click on the active codes and we are there. Press on active tool and it takes us to the active tool offset page. Pretty clear. If I wanted to set the time, I don't need to go to the timers page. I just press on the clock and we can input the information. These kind of Easter eggs are found throughout the control. In fact, if I wanted to know what that icon means, all I have to do is press and hold it, and a little description box comes up and tells us exactly what each of these icons is meant to do. From the offset page, if I wanted to set a tool type, all I have to do is press and hold that field, and the tool type is displayed, so I can make a selection. This is a touchscreen. The enhancements that we showed you today are available on Haas machines with the 19 inch touchscreen, starting with the software version shown below. Now, we're making changes all the time with our color schemes and the way that we sort our favorites, those kind of things, and those changes will just keep coming with each new software version. We focus on keeping the control simple and powerful. But we're also going to keep that ball moving forward if it means making your job easier. Well, thanks for letting us be a part of your success and for watching this Haas Tip of the Day. Wait a second. Before you go, I wanted to show you something here on the Quick M Code panel. There's a button here called M82, and it does the exact same thing as the tool release button on the front of our control. Now, I'm not scared of this. It only will release the tool if the door is open. If I push it right now, it's gonna say door is closed. It's not gonna drop the tool. Um, a lot of people need this for different reasons. If it scares you, no problem. Go to the settings page, setting 76, tool release lockout. We're gonna go to that setting, we're gonna select it, and we're gonna turn it on. Now, if we go to that M82 button and press it, whether the door is open or closed, it's just gonna say function locked. If we press the tool release button, door open or door closed, sorry there, door open or door closed, function locked. Tool release, function locked. So we've got you covered, 
Don't worry about it. We just wanted to mention that before you left. That's it. Take care.